Forces have, may have mistaken an enemy drone for an American one, letting it pass unchallenged into a base in Jordan where it killed three of our service members and injured 40 others. Skyler Henry reports from the White House where President Joe Biden is promising a response. President Biden met with members of his national security team again on Monday as he weighs options following the deadly ambush on American troops in Jordan. We do not seek another war. We do not seek to escalate. But we will absolutely do what is required to protect ourselves. Three U.S. service members were killed Sunday when a drone struck a logistical support base in Jordan near the Syrian border at a time when soldiers were likely sleeping. The names of those soldiers who lost their lives were Sergeant William Rivers, Specialist Kennedy Sanders, and Specialist Breonna Moffat. These three fallen heroes were deployed to Jordan in support of Operation Inherent Resolve and the international coalition working to ensure the lasting defeat of ISIS. CBS News has learned initial reports show the enemy drone was approaching at the same time an American one was returning, meaning air defenses were temporarily disabled. The White House blames Iranian-backed rebels for carrying out the strike. While Tehran has denied any involvement, President Biden is coming under pressure from some Republicans to attack Iran directly. The president has been reluctant to take that step, fearing it could plunge the crisis-riddled Middle East into a wider conflict. We will not tolerate continued attacks on American forces, and we will take all necessary actions to defend U.S. military men and women forward deployed. And we will do so at a time and place of our choosing. Since the start of the Israel-Hamas war in October, U.S. military sites in Iraq and Syria have been attacked more than 160 times. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House.